we're gonna use for our Chinese today. I'm gonna be making a sweet and sour pineapple cashew nut chicken. And okay, so starting from the sauce. For the sauce, we're gonna need just a bunch of simple ingredients. And starting from the sauces, we've, we've got some Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce and vinegar, a uh, little bit of honey and some sriracha. Uh, we're gonna cook it in some ground nut oils as well as some pineapple chunks as well as some corn flour and tomato puree so this is gonna be very simple without any uh, ketchup or processed sugars so a bunch of simple sauces honey and tomato paste next obviously we're gonna be needing some salt uh, black pepper and white pepper and for the vegetables I'm gonna be adding these gorgeous spring onions uh, yellow bell pepper green bell pepper and this purple or red onion as well as some ginger and garlic so I've got these frozen cubes as well as uh, two cloves of garlic and this small bit of ginger that I'm gonna grate freshly and this beautiful tin of pineapple slices. I'm also going to use the juice of the pineapple in my beautiful sauce here. So I'm going to start by cutting all my vegetables as well as these two. I'm also using the chicken here. So these are two breast fillets, boneless, skinless, and I'm going to cut them into beautiful little cubes and let's get started. All right, lovely. So right here, I have just cut all of my beautiful vegetables, my pineapple and this gorgeous chicken into uh, lovely pieces. So I have, nice. so I'm gonna pair uh, the gravy, the beautiful pineapple cashew nut chicken with some egg fried rice. Uh, Let's start cooking. So into this gorgeous pan, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of peanut oil. So again, you can use any oil you have on hand. Um, it will just add in more nutty flavor. So, so once the oil was hot, I have just uh, put in all of my lovely vegetables, including the white part of the spring onions, and the yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, as well as the red onion. So uh, this is going to be a super simple and quick recipe. We're just gonna saute them. And once they're just starting to cook and um, become a bit soft, not, you know, but they still retain their crunch, uh, we're gonna take them out. So while the vegetables are cooking, I'm just gonna season them with a little bit of salt as well as black pepper. So as you can see that uh, the vegetables are now cooking nicely, they've become a bit softer and they're changing their color as well. So I'm just gonna cook them for a couple of more minutes and take them out into this plate. Here I have just taken out the lovely vegetables into this plate and that's how they look. So next into the same pan we're now going to cook our chicken. So I've added in some sesame oil as well as some peanut oil into the pan. Next I'm, uh, um, next I'm going to add in my lovely ginger and garlic. Now I've added in my chicken and I'm going to mix it up and season it with some salt as well as some black pepper. So it's been about five to seven minutes since the chicken is cooking. It looks beautiful. It's browning up a little as well. And while it's cooking, I'm just gonna quickly make my beautiful sauce here in this lovely mug. So let's start. So right here, I have taken this beautiful mug and into this I have put about one and a half tablespoon of tomato puree. Next, I'm gonna add in my Worcestershire sauce as well as my soya sauce here. Here I have my lovely pineapple juice from the pineapple can in my lovely sriracha honey. Also right here I have taken about two uh, tablespoons of uh, cornstarch and I'm gonna mix it up in some water. So I have this leftover pineapple juice and I'm gonna add in some water, mix it up and add it in my sauce. All right, so this is the corn flour slurry and I'm gonna add it into my sauce here, just like that. And we're gonna give it a good mix. I'm also adding a little bit of water about one fourth cup to increase the amount of the sauce. 
then lastly, uh, this is about a tablespoon of white vinegar. And we're going to do some mixy wixy. I'm going to add in this lovely sauce like that. And we're going to cook it on high flame until it comes to a boil. And we're going to cook it further until it thickens nicely. I'm going to pop in all of these lovely vegetables and mix them up. Mm, smells amazing. So right here, I think I need to add in a little bit more water to loosen it up and see how it turns out. All right, so I've added in a bit of water and I've checked the seasoning and I've added a bit more of salt, uh, white pepper powder, as well as a little bit of vinegar. And next I'm going to add in my lovely pineapple chunks. Here is our lovely pineapple. I'm going to mix it up and top it off. In with goes the gorgeous green spring onion. Mix it all up. And lastly is the X factor. The thing that is going to take everything to the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Toasting some gorgeous cashew nuts as well as sesame seeds. Take it to... Pineapple cashew nut chicken. Haha. <laughs> Looks gorgeous, gorgeous, and it smells amazing. Can't wait to dig in. OMGs, OMGs, OMGs. Just look at that, people. Look at that beauty. Whoa. This is one beautiful plate of gorgeousness. Simply gorgeous. So you